Hello, hello. Welcome to day four of our tarot journey. I am Cassie. I'm from Rhythm, Roots, and Faith, and I am teaching this tarot class because I have found tarot to be an absolutely an amazing, magical tool that has helped me to identify patterns in myself and really helps me to it's helps me to make decisions in my life and it helps me to identify things that I can change in myself or things that may be changing around me and therefore being able to adjust my choices and my mindset accordingly and I've just become so intimately interconnected with tarot over time um, and over the past year and a half now I've also started reading for other people as well so I I do tarot readings for others and I found that being able to share this with other people has just been an even more enriching experience than I could have ever imagined and so here we are today um, this is day four of the tarot class and I'm going to do a quick recap on where we've been so far and where we're going today so we are on the Pentacles suit of the tarot deck the pentacle suit is all about time, energy, and resources, and safety, security, and stability. These are the main keywords that I will be using for each and every one of these cards in this suit because these are the ones that I have found that most, most resonate uh, with me and that I find the most truth in. You are always welcome to come to your own interpretations because tarot, most of all, is all about using our own intuition. So, Ace of Pentacles is all about a brand new opportunity to build something new, to find fertility and abundance, to really just start over fresh again and, and build something new and put ourselves into something new. The Two of Pentacles is all about balancing the input and output of time, energy, and resources. So what are we getting out of something and what are we putting into it and is it balanced and if it's imbalanced how do we balance that even more what is something we can let go of what is something that we can be pulling in it's about kind of changing course right the three of pentacles is all about using that information and now really tuning into our own internal blueprint to really determine what is it that we can provide in terms of a dynamic that surrounds us. So this could be a co-worker situation, this could be a relationship, this could be the way in which we just do things in our day-to-day -day life. How are we managing our time, energy, and resources? How are we showing up for that? And and in terms of building something, a strong and stable foundation, we really need to be sure that we're really tuned into doing the things that are most aligned with our internal blueprint. Because if we're not doing those things, that's where that imbalance comes in. And then we end up needing to start things over. And this is a cycle over and over in everyone's life so don't feel like don't feel like you know things are out of control because this is part of the lesson of life in general is learning these things over and over and relearning them over and over but doing it um better each time each and every time so that brings us to the four of pentacles now this uh four of pentacles card used to make me kind of upset when I received it because I didn't like it and what it represented but I've learned to really understand what it represents for me and so I'm going to pull this card up and we're going to sit here with this card and I want you to really look at it and think about what it means for you and I want you to know that when you're looking at this card whatever insights you receive visuals hearing anything whatever comes to mind whatever you feel in the moment is exactly what's true for you we're gonna sit here for a minute with this card and then I will move into describing what I feel it means for me So 
whatever you heard, whatever you saw, whatever came to you is exactly correct. Now let's see how that aligns with what I'm about to share with you from my own personal experience and insights. So I'm going to take a look at the imagery in this card and I'm going to point out the things that I've learned about it and also my intuition in the moment about this card. So the first thing that I notice in this card is this city in the background there is this city this empire in the background okay in the forefront is a king we know he's a king because he has a crown on his head he's also sitting on his throne he has four pentacles one pentacle is at the top of his head one pentacle is here in his hands in front of his heart and the other two pentacles here are underneath his feet he is in a position that doesn't look overly comfortable if we really think about what this would feel like for ourselves if we were in the same position as this king do you really feel that you would be comfortable in this position i want you to ask you that yourself that I know the answer for myself is no. We can maintain this position for a certain amount of time, sure. But do we really want to maintain this position for a long period of time? My answer is no. I would not want to maintain this position for a very long period of time because it seems uncomfortable. This is all about upholding something. This is all about upholding the kingdom which we have built, the kingdom which we have put so much of ourselves into, the kingdom that has grown to be so large that we can't seem to see anything else. I seriously have a caterpillar on my laptop right now. I'm going to see if I can grab him and show him to you. He's so cute. Come here, buddy. Oh, he don't want to. He's like, no, the, oh, here. Oh. No, he doesn't like that. I'm going to leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So, hanging on to what we've built with such a strong sense of this is ours and this is this is mine i did this i put myself into this i don't want to let it go all of us have been in this position in our lives at least once if not multiple times right i want you to think about a time in your life in which you just felt so much like no I, I put myself into this, I created this, I built this, I bought this, legitimately, I bought this, this is mine, I'm not letting it go, right? That is the energy that I get from this card, okay? This is the energy of really hanging on very tightly to something that was built, and this doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's a bad thing, okay? But it's generally the way in which we are thinking about it and going about it that can tend to be a little difficult. It creates difficulty in life. When we are hanging on so tightly to something that we are unwilling to let it go, we are creating a stuck energy. A stuck energy that's not able to flow. This man, if he needs to continue to hang on to these coins, he can't go anywhere. He can't do anything. But he feels so strongly that he's put so much into his kingdom. He's built this kingdom. It's his. He can't possibly let it go. Have you ever felt like that in your life? I know I have. And the message with this card, to me, is that sometimes we have to loosen our grip. Sometimes we do have to let things go. Sometimes we do just have to surrender. This caterpillar is visiting me now. He's down here. Sometimes we just have to surrender and let go. And what does that mean? What does that feel like to you? Does it feel uncomfortable to let go of things that you really, really wanted, that you really, really worked for? Absolutely. But in order to move to the next step, you really, really need to loosen the grip. So this is a message that is very difficult to swallow for some people. And this is not necessarily the only message that comes with this card, 
But most often when I receive this card, it is the message that is for me. It is a message that is for the people I've read for, and I found it to be the most true for this card. So this can be a difficult message to swallow, and it's even more difficult because whenever it is that you're receiving this message of needing to let something go, of needing to surrender, it's generally a truth in your life right now in the present moment. So whoever you are, wherever you are, really listen to this and really think about this. What is it in your life that you have been hanging on to so tightly that you've been unwilling to let it go? What is it? And why are you hanging on to it so tightly? And what really, really is going to happen if you do loosen your grip a little bit? It doesn't mean that you have to, in some cases it does mean that you have to seriously just completely let it go. This could be a toxic relationship. This could be a really a situation that's showing you that you're really unhappy in your job or in your work life or in your home life. This really can be presenting that to you and that can be really, really hard to swallow. Um, and sometimes we really do just need to completely let it go. But other times it also just indicates that we just really need to loosen our grip a little bit. Maybe we're, maybe we're stomping our feet a little bit too hard. Maybe we are, you know, really train, trying to maintain that sense of control um, a little bit too, too much. And again, the message with this card also is that none of us really ever has any control over situations. We need to allow ourselves to let go and flow in order for energy to move. We can't maintain this position of stuck energy for very long. And so I want you to really, really think about this in the moment and ask yourself, where in my life have I been in this energy? Where have I been hanging on too tightly? And what is it that I can loosen my grip on? Think about that for a minute. And what does that really mean for me? And is it as bad as it feels? Is it as bad as it seems? All right, guys, that is the Four of Pentacles. It's, it's a hard card. It's a hard lesson. But it is a very necessary one. And we will go through this lesson many times in our life. And that's also, tarot represents the life journey. And tarot really shows us what point in our lives that we are in. And so I can say for myself that I have been in this energy of needing to let things go and surrender. And I know it to be true for everyone who this video comes across as well. So I thank you so much for sitting through this and really contemplating it. These messages are only for the highest good, harming none. I do set those intentions prior to these videos and I hold that vibration while I move through these. As a reminder, I do read for other people as well. If you're ever interested in your own personal tarot reading to really identify what's going on in your life, I would absolutely love to do that for you. I do not charge for my readings. I do them by donations and tips only because I truly and honestly believe that everybody should be able to have access to the insights and information that can come to them from their spirit teams and on their spiritual and personal life journeys. And so this is part of my journey in my life is to be able to offer these insights and information. I'm going to see if I can get this guy to come by me just before we close off. He's not happy right now, but there he is. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? And he's also kind of not wanting to let go. He's like, this is not what I want. I want it to be on the table. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will 